Welcome back to Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Probably my favorite game at the moment, but I go on about that every single video, so hope you guys are enjoying these videos still. If you are, smash a like on it. But I decided to mix things up in this game and spawn at these apartment buildings here. These big apartment buildings, they're pretty good for loot. And not many people go to them. I've seen, I watched Dakota, if you guys haven't checked out Dakota, he's an awesome player, check him out. He always dives down here, so I thought I'd check it out. And there's some pretty good spawns here, I've got to say. On the roofs you find some pretty big guns, I found an 8x scope as well. And you generally can gear up from just searching two of these apartments, and it means you don't have to spread out across the map looking for places to loot. And it's pretty easy to hear people coming now with the new audio system. As you guys know, they changed the sound system in Battlegrounds, so now you can't really sneak around as easily as you could before, so even when you crouch, people can hear you really clearly. So it's changed my strategy quite a bit. I can't be as much of as as much of a ninja as I was, but I think a lot of people were complaining about people being too ninja. Like, there's a thin line, guys, between super ninja and bearable ninja, and people were complaining about getting shot by ninjas all the time. So now the sound's a lot louder, but I geared up here, got an M16 and a UMP, which I've got to say is like one of my favorite gun guns for close range, as you guys will see later in this video. It's so beast, close range. I think it's better than a shotgun, personally. And when I was running across, I started getting shot from this guy up on top of this building here. I didn't exactly know where he was at first, so I sort of had a look around, then I saw him peek a bit. <coughs> got a decent tag on him there. I'm pretty sure it was a headshot, but might not have been. Tagged him again, so he would have been pretty low by this point, so I thought I could just keep keep waiting for him to peek. Because it's third person in Battlegrounds, so whoever peeks first, if someone's got you covered and you peek, then you're, you're dead. Whoever peeks wins pretty much in Battlegrounds. So you want to be the one who peeks first, because then when someone pops their head, you can take the first shot. So this guy got down to cover, and I thought I had him pinned here. Then, the tables get turned. Just a game of patience. I saw him peeking a little bit, so I thought he was going to come up for air again. But then I started getting pinged from behind me as well. And it's so hard to tell where the shots come from in Battlegrounds, which is the one thing I love. Like, it's so hard to know where you're getting shot from, so you've really got to, like, get safe and look around you to find out where that shot's coming from. And so I didn't exactly know where it was. I just knew it was from behind me in some direction. So I knew this guy would be trying to come down and peeked out again and caught him running down the stairs. I don't know what he thought he was doing, but uh, we got him pretty good, pretty good shot on him there. I think he must have seen someone else up here, which I didn't notice at the time. Because uh, as you guys will see in a minute, this is probably a bad move. I shouldn't have done this. But I'm going to leave this stuff in. Even if I do bad moves, I'm going to leave it in these videos for you guys. And I'll run up and i check this loot straight away. Patience is the key in this game. you got to be patient. And you got to wait. And that's not what I did here. So you got to be really careful. And if you see someone like what he was doing, he was looking at someone else. So he obviously had another target. I should have paid more attention to what he was doing. But anyway, I get up and check his loot. And find a 4 times scope. And then start getting tagged, probably from the guy that he was fighting, I think. And I get so close to death. I don't actually know how I survived this, but it was so intense. And these are the moments I live for in Battlegrounds. Like, this guy had me pinned. But somehow, I managed to, um, to get to safety and heal up. So I thought I'd run back down. I wasn't sure if he'd get me pinned here. I was pretty concerned, actually, because I thought that guy still had a shot on me. But I waited, and it's all about that patience. It's a patience game this, guy, this game is. And again, always check loot, bo loot boxes. If you see someone's loot on the ground, you never know, there could be some scraps on it, so I always find good stuff in there. So I was in a pretty good spot here. 26 people left in the safe zone, which is where you want to be. And then I heard someone driving along. This is why I don't like vehicles myself. Vehicles give away your position far too easily. As much as they're good for getting across the map really quickly, they just give away position too much. And this guy did just that by driving this car around. He gave away where he was and just made himself an easy target. So bad. Like, I don't know what he was doing up here. He just like stops here. Probably hears those shots and he's like, oh, I'll just sit here and be safe for a minute. Just check the text messages. Next minute, 
ripped a runeed. And at this point, I was really worried about getting low on ammo. I thought I'd be able to get this guy's loot. Because I'm greedy like that. But it appears that it wasn't supposed to be. Because the guy up on the hill started putting <coughs> me down. And I was in a lot of trouble. I think I was going to shot by multiple people at this stage. But again, it all comes down to this patience. So I backed off because I wasn't safe. They knew where I was. I didn't know where they were. So healed up and got back in the fight. And so I thought I'd give up on that loot because it was obvious that it wasn't wasn't really going to get to it. Plus the barrier was moving in, so I thought it was a bit too risky. So I thought I'd move up on these guys up on the hill because I wanted to get into a good position because it looked like the end ground was going to be up on the hill, which would be a really bad place to be. But this guy on the top of the hill was still pinning me down. As you can see here, if someone's got that higher ground, it's going to give them a massive advantage. And for some reason I couldn't jump this fence. Like, that's the one thing I think is ridiculous in this game at the moment is you can't jump damn fences. Like, I probably could have just shot through it, but I didn't have the ammo to spare, to be honest. So I thought I'd hold up in here for a second, wait till that guy had stopped pinning me in. Then I heard some footsteps. This guy popped out. Somehow I got him with the M16. Didn't even have my Uzi out when I should have had my UMP out. But I still got the kill. And look at that UMP by the way, it's silenced. I had all the all the stops on it, it was a beast. And we got some more ammo. So that was so lucky. Like, that's again, like I always say in the videos, that's why I love this game. It's always so different and there's always just that story to tell. I wouldn't have been able to get this, go any further in this game pretty much if I didn't get that ammo. So it's crazy how, um, how lucky you can get and how every game's different. So thought I'd push up, try and get to the top of the hill. I was worried about the guy at the top pinning me down, but luckily I was able to get past it. And there was still someone shooting from behind. But if someone's behind you and the barrier's pushing in, you don't really have to worry about them because they're going to have to run eventually. So I saw that guy there, but I decided not to shoot, not to give away my position because if I did, then everyone would know where I was and he was probably going to die by the barrier anyway. So I genuinely like to just run past these guys and be patient because you don't need to take them out. They're in the barrier. They've got a long way to run in open field. So they need to come to where I'm at. And that's, that's how you play this game. Like you just got to be smart. Be smart and be patient, Sensei. And that's exactly what I did here, just just played the patient game. Made sure to heal up, get back onto health, and wait for this guy to run up. Which I don't think he ends up doing, I'm pretty sure he, he died in the field. Which I don't know why, like he should have at least tried to run up, but he knew I was going to pin him down I guess, so it's a hard call to make. So I thought I'd keep pushing up, get into a better position. And I gotta say, I actually like the, um, the sound change in some regards because of this exact reason. I could hear this guy sneaking up on me. And I was able to defend myself. Got the UMP out. This is a risky move. Got the UMP out. And just third person the hell out of him. It was so good. I was so stoked with that kill. The UMP is just such a good gun when you get all the stops for it. Barely has any recall, so you don't even have to zoom in. We'll go first person, like in a kill like that. It was just so good. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite kills I've got. Just feels so juicy when you get someone with the UMPs. And you can pretty much just spray and pray, like I did with that guy. So again, I got pretty lucky here. Got some more meds, which I just ran out of. This is a very lucky game in a lot of in a lot of ways. Got more ammo as well, so in a pretty good spot. Pushed up the mountain a bit more, and it was down the last four. So this was pretty damn intense just here. <clears throat> Because again, the sound has been um, has been increased. So you, when you're in close proximity like this, you can hear people so easily. And so I thought I'd try and get a higher position because you don't want to be down low. When you're low, it's an easy target. And that's exactly what I was. And this guy nearly threaded, like nearly shredded me there. I was so lucky to live. So I was just going to wait. So I just to wait for these two guys. And see where the circle went next. Because I was hoping that he would have to come towards me. And or he'd fight his enemy there. So if someone else can kill the person you're trying to kill, that's always a good thing. As much as getting that kill count is 
up is like the end of the game like that's the whole point of this game i guess it's smart to not worry about that all the time if you're gonna lose the game because of it so i thought i'd get the uh get the zoom out got some good tags on him there and then I was pretty sure he wasn't going to peek again because I had him pinned. Like I say, if he peeked now, he would have been killed because I had him pinned down. But at this point, he's given away his position pretty strongly, so the other guy up here comes along and destroys him. Your enemy's enemy is your friend. That's what they say, that's the saying. So I wasn't sure if this guy knew where I was at this point. But I wasn't going to think, I wasn't going to give away where my position was, so I thought I'd just stay behind this rock and wait for him to push up on me. Because I had the good ground. When that circle pushes in, if you're in the safe spot, you don't need to move. You don't need to give away your position. You just wait for the target to come to you. That's exactly what I did. So I hope you guys enjoy these commentaries over the gameplay. I have tried to just record some live stuff, but every time I record live, the game gets cut short, and it's like... I have to start it all again, so I thought this is the better way to do it, guys, and I'm going to hopefully do some Joy stuff soon, and so I'll record live gameplay for that, obviously, but if you guys are enjoying the Battlegrounds gameplays, let me know in the comments, so here I'm just, just waiting, just that patient game, like I said, guys, be patient, it's the key, I can't emphasize that enough, so this guy is just like waiting for me to peek, and I'm just waiting for him to push, Eventually, that's what he does. Because I was in prime spot here. He was the one that had to move. He finally does. And I probably should have gone um, into first person there, but I still got a few tags on him. And I just love that UMP. Like, it's such a good gun for close quarters. So this is where this sound comes into play, like, probably a good change they made for this game. I thought I'd lost it here, because he had the high ground, so I thought this was going to be GG, pretty much, but somehow... Well, you guys will see what happens. It's just like, waiting for each other to peek. And then, finally get up. We might have been a potato aim there, but we got the victory. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. You guys legends, thanks for watching.